Hi lovelies, I hope you're all staying calm and collected and healthy during this lockdown period that we're all experiencing at the moment. So today I really want to talk to you about health and vitamins within that sector. So there are two main vitamins that I really want to focus on and uh, the first one is vitamin B12 and the second one is vitamin C. So in the clinic, um, the last few years, we have been administering with great success um, intravenous uh, vitamin therapy um, headed up by Dr. Derek Williams and nurse practitioner Natalie Evans, who are both experts in this field. Um, so we call it therapy. Um, we, we, we can't go down the lines of calling it a medical treatment, um, but we know that this is extremely beneficial um, for our clients. So I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So what is vitamin B12? Vitamin B12 is actually um, a vitamin that aids um, in building our immune system, um, in helping with anxiety, um, with um, mental health, depression. It helps to um, regulate our sleep uh, patterns, um, aiding in more energy. Um, it can prevent potentially birth defects. Um, it can help with eye conditions. Uh, it, it has many, many, many incredible um, benefits to the human body. And um, we need to source that um, from food because we're not making it in our bodies. Um, and that's coming from your proteins, your fish, um, your meat, your eggs, milk, um, but not really in any vegetables. So you vegans out there, um, and I completely think veganism and living a plant-based lifestyle is a fantastic thing, um, but you may not be getting a sufficient amount of vitamin B12 into your body because you're not taking it in, um, in with enough protein sources, basically. Now, you can actually get it from fortified cereals, but a lot of us, um, don't want to eat too much cereal because that's just a massive carb crash waiting to happen. Uh, so the option of a B12 shot every couple of months is a really, really, really good option. Um, so um, that is one vitamin. And the other one is vitamin C. That's what I was going to talk about. Vitamin C. Um, and that's really, really, really important for the immune system. I think a lot of us know that already, but just to reiterate, vitamin C and immune system go hand in hand. Um, and I think in this time um, of, you know, our awareness of keeping our bodies healthy, um, of battling uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, of hoping we're not going to get it, or the, you know, all the poor victims who have had it. And I know a few people who have actually had uh, the virus already and it's not nice it really isn't um but a lot of us with weakened immune systems it's actually very scary and potentially lethal so this is the time to really focus on ingesting enough vitamin c into our bodies so that our entire systems can fight uh, and that's the point we need a fight right now um for yourself for your family and for your friends um because we don't want to pass it on if you contract it or if you do contract it trying to recover quickly is critical uh, we, we're having a meltdown at the moment uh, financially economically emotionally um health wise so if we can keep our bodies fit and healthy i think that is so super important um if we're healthy physically we're more healthy mentally uh, emotionally psychologically everything um is integrated so let's focus on that so we're at home now, we can't administer um, shots or drips, but we can eat and we can eat well. So key things, loads of fruit, loads of vegetables. I have literally been eating about three oranges a day. Um, loads of green vegetables, broccoli, spinach, um, whatever you've got, whatever's in the supermarket, just get it. Fruit and veg is really important. Um, if you're not a vegan or a vegetarian, then go and get your meats. Um, lots of fish is really, really, really good for your B12. Um, I'm not a fan of loads of milk, um, so having eggs is a good thing as well um, for your B12. So that's really, really, really super important. 
So uh, there is another thing that I wanted to focus on um, about our health. And we all know that the 5G towers are being installed at the moment whilst we're on lockdown. And again, um, we don't know for sure, but potentially this is going to have massive health ramifications on all of us. So this is why I really want to reiterate health and um, respecting our bodies and making sure um, that they are fighting machines because we don't know how we're going to respond to when those um, 5G towers are activated and all of those waves coming at us through our bodies we need to be as fit and healthy as possible so vitamin c and b12 we need okay we are electromagnetic beings and we respond uh to waves um and to the internet and to mobile phones and technology we respond to it in a really really negative way um so i can only stress if you go to bed can you have your phone in another room, switch off all your devices, and maybe that's gonna just help regenerate your body in some way. I'm no expert in this field, but I do know it has massive ramifications um, on our health. So let's look at our bodies as temples, um, as electromagnetic mechanisms, and um, get them into top form. So vitamin B12 and vitamin C. So I'm gonna really encourage that. Um, and I also just wanted to do um, a massive shout out to NHS staff and health workers on the whole, um, my family and a lot of people um, who I work with and friends um, are on the front line at the moment and I miss them greatly, I miss working with them and you know we, we all need to pull together and just have massive respect not just for those people but for everybody, We're, we all work hard and uh, we're all going through our battles and being warriors and superhumans at the moment. So well done. So I just want to give a shout out to um, Dr. Derek Williams, my dad. He's on the front line at the moment. Natalie Evans, a nurse practitioner, um, our aesthetic nurse here, she is as well. Um, uh, Professor Julia Williams, you're amazing. Dr. Caroline Gosson, you're amazing. And then our mental health workers, um, so there is uh, Dr. Andrew Hale, Dr. Malgosha Krillman and my mum, Anna Williams, um, all clinical psychologists. And of course, uh, Dr. Imtiaz Youssef. So I just want to give so much love to all of them. And, you know, guys, remember, if you keep your bodies healthy um, and stay strong, then these people won't have to treat as many people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're putting their bodies on the front line um, to save you, to save us. And um, particularly my father, um, who has treated many of you at the clinic. Uh, he's a wonderful person, uh, an expert in asthma and allergies. He has asthma himself really, really badly, and he's still working front lines. So let's just give him a massive amount of love and um, respect. So I hope you all have um, a lovely evening. And, you know, bear in mind um your health and your body and how if you build that up that can have a massive impact on your life and everyone else's lives around you and the nhs so stay tuned for the next video that i'm going to do which is next saturday and i'm going to be talking um about dr levy and other products which we just absolutely love okay much love